Hello, my name is Seppi and welcome back to the coffee break in Minecraft. Today is Sunday, August 7th, 2022. An interesting and exciting week comes to an end. But before I will discuss and tell you what happened, I need to feed the cat. So let's grab a raw cord and give it to the cat once the cat notices me. Yes, you cat, hi. No, no, not interested. Hey, you cat, cat. Ah, here we go. Here. Have a cot. All right. Well, okay. Cat starts to purr. This is good. Oh, I need to remember to repair my iron shovel. That's, that's important. Here, yeah, an interesting and somewhat exciting week comes to an end. Let's start with the bad news of this week. So my my paper about the this plush frog learning environment once again got rejected and uh, got rejected for no good reason as usual. <laughs> um, they th th this review was totally flawed in my opinion and I feel it drastically reduces my stance towards that conference and my thoughts on all the papers being accepted at that conference because when they when all of the reviewers were as careless as my reviewers were how can this be then an indication of quality or anything like that so basically what happened is their main criticism how do I do this? I need a second. I need a new new shovel. And I think I need to go mining at some point. Okay, to repair this I need an anvil. The anvil is in the tower. I definitely need the shovel today. So, okay, I need to get back to the tower, fix that shovel before I can continue working on the cat monument. They criticize because they are already two papers on that learning environment out. The first paper just presented it without any empirical study. The second paper presented some user experience results made with students and this paper now is about the learning effectiveness with pupils at local high school. So basically the target group. Not not students or anything like that. And um, only two. Okay, that, that's good. At some point I need to enchant it maybe with another enchantment or so. But yeah, okay, this is good. And unbreaking unbreaking three is pretty nice on that, that shovel, so it will last a little bit longer. I still need mending, but as of right now I would really like to use the mending for the chain armor I got, I collected, and this is an armor I can't craft. And so th this would be really a unique armor, getting everything enchanted with mending, but yeah, I, I need to I need to get to a good source of mending for doing that. Anyways, uh, I, I digress. Uh, yeah, so there are two papers out. The, the new paper is all about learning effectiveness and even an analyze it with young users and the target group and so on. So yeah, so, some things that I feel is quite unique and quite novel. But the reviewers criticize there's not so much difference to the to the first two papers that are published. In the paper itself, in the in the manuscript I already expressed this. We got even the, the chance for rebuttal, so basically writing a statement on the reviewers comments I explained it there and 
I made it completely clear that there's a huge difference. But... Enderman? Um, but, uh, yeah, apparently they, they haven't read the rebuttal or so, because at the time as I was about to write the rebuttal, the fourth reviewer, the meta reviewer, hasn't written their review. And now there there's for the rejection this final meta review and the reviewer puts it together that the, the main criticism is there's not much benefit over the papers already existing. So yeah, I mean, th this clearly shows, I mean, I, I wrote it in my rebuttal, hey, there there's a big difference there. And apparently they have not even read it or so. And I find this quite, well, more than annoying, to be honest. So uh, yeah, th this is, this is bad. This is really bad. I mean, okay, then I submit it again to a different venue, do it again, that's fine. But yeah, I, I, I find it just, just questionable how they, they go about it. I also wrote the chairs of the, the conference that, hey, you something is wrong with your with your reviews there. They haven't replied yet. So we'll we'll see. I, I don't think I mean even if they will reply it will be a generic reply like everything is order, we checked everything with care and everything is great. Which I can't believe because they can't have checked everything with care when when they criticize a the thing, I, I already explained that this is not a thing that can be criticized. But anyways, so yeah, th th that's bad news. I mean, other conferences, uh, which that's eight, eight blocks. So seven, uh, only seven more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And now we need to go that way. For what is this? I think 32 it was. Anyways, I, I don't need to wait. I could, I could of course shear some sheep. Could shear some sheep to get as much black as possible. I mean, yeah, this would be perfect. Shear some sheep, sleep in the lighthouse, and in the morning make progress with the. With dirt. So yeah, um, so much, so much about those bad news. Then uh, sports. I mean, it just had to happen eventually, because I'm gradually increasing the volume. I I'm now really in the in the stage where I really wanted to to get to where I'm. <laughs> I'm working towards for uh, more than two months, three months or so, to get to really the, the point that I can do those more than 30 kilometers long runs that are really useful for preparing for my marathon attempt. Now, now I'm finally there. So I did my first um, 31 kilometer long run was good was i mean I, I was quite quite happy i mean i definitely noticed it in my legs it's that you you get tired and first you only start to to start feel some some fatigue in your legs and then over time it starts to get to you and you you start to think okay i i really want to stop but i don't i'm not allowed to stop i need to continue uh yeah it's there, there, there really the mental game starts to become into play and uh, yeah so it was it was cool getting there and finally there and with that i i got closer to to this well i'm not quite sure if this is really a goal or so but i got closer to the 100 kilometers run per week mark which is also an 
interesting um, achievement or so. So over the the last two or three weeks, I, I always ended up with 90 plus kilometers. And I since I constantly increased the, the volume, this week was my first, my very first 100 kilometers week. So th this is also a cool achievement, I feel. So quite happy with that, that I got that far. But at the same time, we, we had, we had once, of course, strong heat wave going on here. And I really noticed towards the end of the week, because it got warmer and warmer every day, how exhausting that heat is. I mean, it's, it's not the run in the heat itself, but it's also the, the constant exposure to heat, which, which really exhausted me over the, the time. Friday was just insane. I mean, I, I get up early to run before the sun rises, but it, the, 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 the climate, the, the temperatures were so high that it was even at 6 a.m. more than 20 centigrade, 22 or whatever we had. We had a very, very, very high humidity. So this run was just awful. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, I'm happy that I did, that I still did my three times 10 minute threshold runs. I, I couldn't keep up my normal pace, unfortunately. But still, uh, th that's, a, that's, I guess, a good training effect because running slower with the same effort, it, this, this conditions means I would have been much faster in good conditions. So I, I'm, I'm still quite happy with that one. But yeah, th this, this run really exhausted me. And I noticed it uh, the day after my legs felt a little bit tired. So I, I took it more slow during yesterday's park run. Interestingly, although taking it slow during yesterday's park run, I still ran a 1938 5k or so. So I mean, yeah, that's, that's not insanely quick or so. But, but still, sub 20 minutes. Was quite happy with that one. But still, I, I noticed, okay, this is... I noticed the, the heat and so today I decided, okay, I will just do my... my, my recovery week Sunday workout instead of my normal Sunday workout just because to to regain some 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 energy after the this heat exposure and uh yeah i noticed also some some minor issues but i'm not quite sure what they will mean i hope it's not like an upcoming injury because i i took i took all the precautions i could take i mean the, it's important to very slowly increase your volume and you should never increase your volume more than 10% per week. I, over the course, I mean, this is what I talked at the start of this episode. Over the course of the, the last months, I, I never got close to the 10%. So I took it really, really careful. I do strength training on a regular basis to prepare the, the body to have enough muscle supporting everything. Basically, I'm doing everything and still I feel things where everything I read up on, on that is like, okay, it happens when, you, when you're new to run, when you, when you have a bad run, running form, when you are not having strength and so on. So basically, I, I, everything I can say, I, that's not the case. So I'm not quite sure. So maybe it's, it's on the. It's additionally good to take it a little bit slow today. Maybe at the start of this week. I'm even thinking maybe I should just do after this this heat because the, the heat was really the main issue that really tired me out in combination with much work and all this jazz. That uh, I, I maybe do another maybe a double double recovery week or so. I, I don't know. I, I need to see how I feel tomorrow or so. But yeah, there, there are some, a few things that where I'm a little bit concerned about and where I 
as just as because I said at the beginning of this episode discussing my my uh, increase in long runs and that I finally at the stage where I really wanted to go to where I really waited for trained for so many months that now this is in jeopardy or that I might have to take a break from it or so that this would be really devastating but yeah we'll see we'll see um, how how few tomorrow and so on on Thursday 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 yes Thursday on uh, Thursday evening at first I wasn't quite sure if I really want to because I'm too hot not not really feeling feeling that great and then the heat and constantly uh, bad times but yeah I, I was invited to go with a friend to a theater play theater play what was more of a well it was a comedy Sherlock Holmes the Hound of Baskerville or however this, this play is called the the fun part about it it was on the one hand an open air theater play it took place in a very small village in the vicinity of the town I live I noticed I cycled through the town several times already with my road bike but I have at this stage not recognized that there's this, this castle in which the uh, the theater plays taking place anyways a very cool setting and the cool thing about that theater play was they had in, in the description they wrote it has 40 rules or so but there were only five people so by quickly changing between different costumes they they constantly switch their rules and this was really cool and all the jokes were fun so this was a great evening this was really nice going out to this open air open air theater play situation so that was, that was fun and um Yeah, there was there was that. Then yesterday, the same friend uh, organized a some some. Wait, am I am I at the right here? Yeah, now I just need to to branch over here. Okay, I know I like to use some dirt to to finish that up. nice um yeah so organized a well oh, oh dear <laughs> party in uh, in her garden and oh right and that was, that was also cool also ni nice nice thing sausage dog got all the attention <laughs> of everybody so that's three four five six seven eight oh, perfect now i just need to pull up here then then we slowly get to the dimensions of the cat uh yeah so th this was this was also cool and so yeah this week had had several highlights very cool thing with theater play some some kind of barbecue event running good distance luckily the the heat wave howie luckily the the heat wave stopped for a bit oh no this of course had to drop on this cactus uh luckily the heat wave stopped now for a bit it was really so uncomfortable uh ooh, i do have two black wool nice i was really uncomfortable the 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 main part of this week constantly temperatures way above 30 centigrade and um yeah wasn't wasn't feeling great i mean as you know i'm constantly complaining about summer and sh this year i'm complaining even more about the summer because it's so bad and uh yeah but but it is it is what it is unfortunately you can't do can't do much about it so yeah that that's basically a good good summary now the this this week will be 
well, I'm not quite sure how this week will be. There is, um, tomorrow at least is, oh yes, right, right, there's one, one last thing. One of the requirements for the students' projects of my one course, my one seminar, is to, to do a quick evaluation of their system. And I did this also to, to give them an incentive to evaluate their systems in in the course so that each other uh, each student sees what what the others have done because this is often the thing they they really like to see they they all focus on their projects but they don't really see what the others are doing and by basically making a making it mandatory to evaluate their system and um, giving them room in the during the the course during their curriculum to actually do it they can really show what they did to to everybody else and they really appreciated it and i found it also pretty cool i found it cool to to try out their systems and uh, i mean i of course can try all the, out their systems during the exam but i i really wanted to to have one black wool no i don't have black wool left but I, I, I also took the advantage of trying the systems out while they were giving their, their, their evaluation. So had fun with that. And so I'm, I'm quite pleased that now as, as they did it and as they, they saw how cool it is to, to show their projects to everybody else, that they actually, yeah, that, that they real, realized how, oh dear, how, how good this is. And, um, yeah, so th th this is cool. I, I found it pretty cool that they started to realize and recognize that okay, that makes sense. It's actually quite cool that we that we get this, this chance to to evaluate our system and to see what the others have done. Because I'm I haven't really done strong requirements for the evaluation itself. It's, it's more like hey, do a qualitative evaluation of your system to find out if if it has the the desired effect or so so they were quite open with that and really worked out well so i'm i'm also happy with this one so yeah it was was a good week tomorrow will be once again chaos tomorrow okay maybe the cat is not too too big now having this 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 frame ready. Maybe the cat has a good size. Now it looks looks much better as to the last time where we we had not this overview. But yeah, could be cool. Hey, pig, don't push my my horse. Uh, tomorrow will be written exam. I really like to to get it just done. So basically, after after the exam is over. I like to get it, get it graded right away and evaluate it and so on, so that I can just put a check mark on it and say, okay, we are done. We are done with that jazz. I can I can now focus on the on the last exam of my my other course, and then uh, write some papers and so on. So actually, do do some research again, just teaching. So yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to to the exams phase being over, and so I just like to push through tomorrow, write the exam, get it graded, create the the grading sheet, and then I'm hopefully more more or less done with that one, so that it's it's just one one day of of chaos and. Once this day is over, things things will be better. Yeah, and yeah, then then I'm not sure what what happens after after tomorrow. But the only thing I really have remembered that this is the start of the week and how the rest of the week continues. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I guess this wraps up this somewhat interesting week. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you will be joining me next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, my name is Eppy. See you!